And so I'm visiting one of the sites that I've done a biodigester. I mean, the property that I've done biodigester for. And the plumber has come to do the connection. And then I've just come around and I thought that, why not? Let me just show you something that you can consider if you are building your dream house. Let's go. So this is a, a two bedroom unit. Nicely done, as you can see, most of the stuffs have been done. The burglar proof has been done. Nice doors have also been done. The garage has been done. I mean, work is progressing steadily. But this is what I want to bring your attention to. This is the biodigester that we did for this particular property. I mean, it's a six by two family size digester and it fits perfectly for what the homeowner intends to achieve. And then the pipes have been connected. First of all, let me show you the digester. So nicely done. Enhanced breaker slabs. And then extra rendering has been done on it. And then there are two seats in the house. So one is here, far away there. And then the other one is just here, right? But what I want to bring to your attention is the vent pipes. So basically, this is how I recommend vent pipes are done if you do not follow the initial plan for building the house let's say you want to build the house right and then you want to have a vent pipe done ideally i prefer that it's it's inside the house like it's part of the construction so either the cutting is done ahead and then it can be hidden nicely at the place whereby i mean only the the top is showing and then you are good to go by let's say you don't do that and then finally you are doing the digester or septic tank or whatever and then you want to do a vent this is how it should be done do not put do not allow anybody to put a vent pipe on your biodigester if it's a bio food biodigester you are considering do not let it be done huh? because this thing works ideally in the absence of oxygen the only thing that you can allow on it is like a inspection chamber which is okay and then your inspection chamber is also here for the in case tomorrow there's a problem and you have to have it rod or anything it gets stuck and then you have to have it done so i prefer this one so this is what you should consider for your your vent i mean it's not the ideal way but what i'm also saying is that if somebody says that let's do a vent for the digester do not agree to it let it be on the burden itself and then you can serve the purpose if i was the one who was advising the plumber on this job i wouldn't even consider two vent pipes one is okay they did another one here just for this part of the listing i mean it doesn't look good but it's okay so this is exactly what i'm saying you might have to plan for everything before it's done i mean do you really want this thing on your burden right uh -huh. so those are some of the things that you have to consider ahead of the building and the things that would need to be done to make sure that your house really meets the standard and it looks good to the eye so your plumbing work is key and the plumbers who are coming to do your job must all be on page with you so they did another vent here just for it it would have been ideal if probably it was done inside the building or probably they just have to to take it off the vent is supposed to just take any smell or any unwanted scent in the room away and it shouldn't necessarily be on every toilet seat in the house because it's air if one is on one of them it can pass through the chamber or pass through anywhere that is passing through and it will serve the purpose for which it's supposed to serve so basically that's what i wanted to show you on this property that your vent pipes must be on the burden first thing and it's, if possible it must be hidden inside the burden and then it looks good for your kind of burden that you are considering for yourself i mean you are building your dream house you want everything to look perfect right so basically that's it dream house home improvement is a channel dedicated to construction of biodegradable waste biodigesters and general home improvement we also do consultation we advise people on the way to go about when they want to build their houses and this is one of the houses that we have been advising them on what exactly they should go about doing so i just came here and then i thought that i did a biodigester i should show you some few things about the plumbing work biodigesters do not need air they don't need to breathe to work well they actually work in the absence of oxygen so your biodigester is fine if there's no vent on it if there's supposed to be a vent in the house it must be on the toilet seat and it must be for the building itself thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and be part of us bye bye